Lefties are less common in the world, representing only about 10% of the population. Left-handedness is kind of a fascinating human trait in the sense that it's still kind of a mystery where it comes from. But new research by Philippe Hujol is shedding some of that mystery. He analyzed three national surveys taken by the U.S. Public Health Service between 1963 and 1974, assessing more than 13,000 youths ages 6 to 21 for everything from body measurements to handedness. And so the finding was pretty robust in the sense that the three surveys that were conducted, all three identified that these people who have a convex profile are more likely to be left-handed. It's not a big difference. It's roughly a 25% increased chance of being left-handed. A convex profile looks like this. The jawline is narrow and slightly set back when the teeth bite down. So those are the cheekbones, what they typically refer to, and so those are narrower. And also these points here, which they measured in the survey, are narrower. And so the lower molar here bites more backwards. And so that's why you get this overbite there. Narrow jaws are also associated with body type. People who have a convex profile are more likely to have less fat and less muscle and a narrow skeleton. They're known as ectomorphs. Most people can recognize an ectomorph because they're so distinctive. I mean, they have the spindly muscles. They're typically, you know, they have delicate skeletal features. If you're wondering whether you have a narrow jaw, a profile angle of your face will tell you more than looking straight into the mirror. For the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, this is Brian Donahue.